Good day students, welcome to math.serve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over how to divide polynomials by long division. Alright, so let's say we have the following problem. We are to divide 4x to the third minus 17x squared plus 13x minus 41 by um, x minus 4. Okay? So we're dividing this by long division. So let's start by identifying what the dividend and the divisors are. With a problem with this setup, our dividend is what comes first in your um, division statement. Okay? So our dividend is the first polynomial which is 4x cubed minus 17x squared plus 13x minus 41. Okay, the second polynomial, what you're dividing by, is known as the divisor. Okay, so our divisor in this problem is x minus 4. So let's go ahead and divide these two polynomials um, using the long division method. Okay. So we put up our division um, bar. We have the dividend inside, 4x to the third minus 17x squared plus 13x minus 41. And we're dividing by x minus 4. Okay, so we're going to be dividing, uh, focusing our attention on two at a time. Since our divisor is a binomial, we're going to be grouping them in twos, okay? So look at these, compare these two, ask ourselves how many times does this binomial go into the first um, pair of terms in our um, dividend polynomial. Another thing to keep in mind is that when you're setting up your dividend, you want to make sure that there are no missing degree terms. What do I mean? If you look at the highest degree, when you're descending from the highest degree down to the zeroth degree, you must not have any missing degree terms. So we have 3, 2, 1, 0. That's perfect. So what do you do if you have a missing term? You insert a placeholder. You have 0 as a coefficient and x to the power of the missing degree. Okay? That's not applicable here since we have all the terms accounted for. So let's go ahead and divide. What we're going to do, taking a look at the first two, um, the binomial divisor and the first two terms of our dividend, I'm going to ask myself, how many times does x go into 4x to the third? That's the question. How many times does x go into 4x to the third? To do that, we're simply going to um, divide. Okay, we have 4x to the third divided by x. x has a first power. If you divide this, you will have 4. Now, when you're dividing exponents with the same base, you subtract the powers. Okay, so this becomes x to the second power because x to the um, first goes into x to the third. You just subtract 1 from the power when you're dividing, and then you have 4x squared. Now we're going to place 4x squared on the square column right above this right here. Now what we're going to do next is distribute this 4x squared into the two terms of our divisor polynomial. Okay, so when we carry out the distribution, um, we're going to have, let's see, 4x squared times x to the first power will give us 4x to the third. 4x squared times negative 4 will give us 16x squared. Now, think about division as repeated subtraction, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to repeatedly subtract factors out of the dividend polynomial until we end up with our remainder, all right? So this is the first factor we just extracted. We're going to subtract it from the dividend polynomial. So let's subtract. So we're going to subtract these two. 
Now when you're subtracting, subtracting is the same thing as adding the opposite. So what I'm going to do is distribute this minus across these two terms. So it's easy for me to um, execute the subtraction operation. Now when I distribute, this minus becomes a plus. This positive term becomes negative, And this negative term here becomes positive, a consequence of distributing the minus. Now when you combine downwards, the first term always have to cancel out. It's by design, okay? So these two add up to zero. Negative 17x squared plus 16x squared. You subtract and keep the bigger coefficient. The sign of the bigger coefficient, so it's going to be negative 1x squared. Okay, so remember we're dividing two at a time, okay? So we have one term here. So we bring down the next term by descending degree. So we have degree 2, so the degree 1 term comes down with the sign plus 13x. Now what we're going to do is repeat the same procedure again. Taking a look at these two terms, you focus on the on the leading terms, x and negative 1x squared. And you ask yourself the question, how many times does x go into negative 1x squared? To answer that question, we're simply going to divide negative 1x squared by x. x to the 1. So it's going to be negative, minus over plus is minus, and then you subtract the exponents again using the quotient property of exponents, and we have negative x. So where do we put it? Since it's of the first degree, we'll align it in the degree 1 column, minus x or 1x, however you want to put it. And now we're going to distribute again. You take negative x as a package and distribute it to these two terms here. Okay. When you carry out the distribution, you're going to have um, negative 1x squared. Minus times minus is a plus, plus 4x. What are we going to do now? Subtract again. Remember, division is repeated subtraction. So we're going to subtract. When you're subtracting, it's the same thing as adding the opposite. So we're going to distribute this minus across these two terms. So this becomes a positive. This switches to positive, And this negative, this positive here becomes minus. becomes a negative. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and combine downwards. These two cancel out. Positive 13x minus 4x is 9x. And then we bring down the negative 41. Okay, repeat the same procedure. How many times does x go into 9x? We can determine this by dividing 9x by x. The x's cancel out or divide out, and you're left with 9. So you, you put the positive 9 on the constants or 0 degree column right here. Distribute the 9 across x minus 4. And then you have positive 9x minus 36. What do we do again? We subtract. Remember, division is repeated subtraction. Now distribute the minus across these two terms because subtracting is the same thing as adding the opposite. So this becomes a plus, minus, and this minus right here changes to a plus. All right, we'll go ahead and add downwards. And then we have negative 41 plus 36 gives us negative 5. Okay, so that's our answer. Let's go ahead and write down our answer. Our answer is um, 4x squared minus 9x plus 9 minus 5 over x minus 4. You can write it in this way or you can say 4x squared minus 9x plus 9 remainder negative 5. Okay? Alright, so let's state what our quotient is. Our quotient is the portion of your answer without the remainder. So it's 4x squared. Oh, I, I wrote my answer incorrectly. It's 1x. 
So this is supposed to be 1x, and that's 1x2. So it's 4x squared minus x minus x plus 9. So our quotient is 4x squared minus x plus 9. And our remainder, we have a remainder here. Our remainder is negative 5. Now, is this um, divisor a factor of the dividend? So let's answer that, factor or not. The answer is no. x minus 4 is not a factor. Why? Since the remainder is not 0. Okay? So there you have it. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. If this tutorial helped you in your study of um, dividing polynomials, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. If you have any questions or comments, just place it in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to support you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other tutorials such as this. More clips can be found on mathgutserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.